Uh, I'm not exactly sure what just happened, but our train has stopped. Fresh Alaskan halibut fish and chips. I'm a little bit nervous about going to the top of the mountain and then the motor shorting out. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh. I love Alaska. Good morning and welcome aboard the Celebrity Solstice. Mike and I are on our very first cruise to Alaska. And this is day number five. Is that right, Michael? I think it's day five, if you can believe it or not. We are in Skagaway, Alaska. And every place is just more beautiful than the place before. So I'm so excited about Skagway today. We are going to be riding a train up through the mountains, which apparently is, they say, one of the best excursions on a cruise ship that you can take. That's what people have said. So that, take a look at what we're looking at now. Hopefully the um, clouds will lift a little bit, but it is 57 degrees and not raining. So we feel like we got the golden ticket here in Skagway. And we're starting out our morning at the coffee house called Cafe Baccio. This is an amazing place that we absolutely love. We love the music. We love the like cool vibe, chill vibe. It's eight o'clock in the morning here. I got a decaf latte. Mike is very, are you very happy with your Americano? Yeah, he likes it. And they gave us two little croissants. We had quite a night last night. My voice is still shot. I still can't talk hardly, um, but we are very much looking forward to an amazing day today. So if you haven't watched our other Alaska videos, we will link them at the end of this video so you can see the progression from when we boarded the ship till now. And it is totally worth watching. So much fun and so much beauty and I have to say yesterday morning, my mind was blown. I, I, I just can't even tell you what it was like sailing into a glacier. Here we are, Skagway, Alaska. Welcome to Skagway, Alaska, Michael John. Cornelius lives here. <laughs> I think he probably does. You guys, this is the Klondike Gold Rush National Historical Park. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of gold rushing here. <laughs> These are the cruise ships. <laughs> Silver and gold. And <laughs> That's where we're going later. Oh yeah. But for now, we're gonna walk into town. So we have a, an excursion on the train. I think I mentioned that earlier today. But before then, we're gonna walk into town and see what we can see of the little town of Skagway. Apparently it's adorable and small and my Brothers and sisters have already, and my parents have already walked into town as I eat my hair. Um, oh my gosh, I, I do love the whole, like all the flowers. There really are a lot of flowers up here, and I know that sounds weird, but I, I mean, it must be flower season, but it is a, also rainforest. So that's why I, I guess get a lot of flowers. I, I talk like I know what I'm talking about. I really don't. I, I spout some facts that I heard from the naturalist, other than that, I make it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've made it to lunch here. Pap is drinking a frosty macarupa. That looks fantastic. Is it good? All right, you guys, fish and chips today. Yes, happy Skagway. I always want to put an A in it, Skagway, but it's not, right? Skagway. Cheers. It seems like a harsh name for such a nice small town. That's Skagway? Yeah, yeah. It's not as nice a name. It should be called like Lily Valley. Or Hospitality Alley. Chris, did you ever watch Northern Exposure? No. I didn't either, but this is exactly why I would, this is where I would think that Northern Exposure took place. It looks like this little town right here. So is that a compliment? To uh, yeah, totally. Like there should be a little moose walking down the middle of Main Street. Right? Fresh Alaskan halibut, fish and chips with the coleslaw, tartar sauce. Yum. Bon appetit. This is good. This is good. Yes. This is the real deal. Here we are at the Skagway Brewing Company. Skagway Brewing Company, right here in Skagway, Alaska. Yep. Right, we have boarded the train. We are taking the White Pass. I think it's called the White Pass on Railway which is apparently very famous in this area up through the mountains. We're gonna see a beautiful, I think, hope, 
Hope we're gonna see beautiful spots. They Please. told us to sit on the left because we'd be able to look down and see all the huge like drop off over there. They probably switched chairs and stuff so everybody had a chance to see because mom and dad are on that no. side. And, what's the matter? What's the matter? I had a few announcements to make. Oh, jeez, <laughs> Chris. Okay. Chicken doctor. Yes. Yeah. Cool. All right, Chicken yes. 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 doctor. <laughs> Uh, I'm not exactly sure what just happened, but our train has stopped. We were going along for about 10 minutes and all of a sudden it went, it like stopped and then it jiggled and it went backwards a little bit. And she just came like, it says, what did she say? No, you didn't push it, Mike. What did she say? She, she said, the train has come to an unplanned stop, but we're not allowed to get off. And we will be moving very shortly. Mm. Or uh, uh, a little hesitant. <laughs> okay, let's see. No, thank you, Chris. Thank you. No, I saw you pointing. Oh. Alright, we're moving a little bit. Can you guys see? We're not sure. Is there anyone else? Right. I think I can, I think I can. Oh, yeah. That was a little bit weird. <laughs> and... <laughs> All right. Okay. I think we're good. Stay tuned. Hopefully we're going to make it. We're going up some pretty high mountains and on some pretty steep cliffs. So... Okay. It just happened again. Before, <laughs> over the pass, yeah. Okay, so apparently there is a motor that is shorting out, and um, we are at the bottom of the mountain. Thank goodness. I'm a little bit nervous about going to the top of the mountain and then the motor shorting out. As long as the brakes work. <laughs> Okay, if we got this off here, if you can do that, man, um, check it out. We appreciate it. <laughs> when we go really fast backwards, that we did honestly, we we did say that this was going to be like Thunder Mountain Railroad, did we not? Yes, and it really is. At least it's hopefully it's not like Everest where we go backwards really fast. Because. And we said it was going to be like turn out my road because this actually. The little red cruise line section that is rented out to overnight hikers is coming up on our right hand side. Because this is a train that was used to bring people to the, from the gold rush like, to go up the hill to pan for gold. And at Disney World, the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is the same thing. It's a gold train, so we think it might be a little bit partially. Yeah. Except that one, I think, goes through like the hills of Utah. So it might be like, oh, that's probably a different area of the country, but it's very similar. Oh boy, that's pretty far down. Hey, 
<laughs> you guys, Mike and I are outside of the train right now, hanging out in between two cars. Can you see? Oh, look at that pretty waterfall. Filming. There's the train. perspective through the camera on this but this is quite spectacular we're up very high you can see the river down there you can see another train over there we're about to go over the wooden trestle bridge i think i don't think this is it i'm a little nervous to look down some guy's got his camera right there on the end of a thing that was smart oh my gosh smell the pine Yes, it smells like pine. Those spruces, you guys, are growing tips, new tips. And they said that they discovered that, the native people discovered that if you cut the tips off, there's more, and make it into tea, there's more vitamin C in there than there is in orange, there in orange, and orange juice. Okay, we're gonna go over that bridge, right? You guys, it's made out of wood. Okay. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Ah! Oh my gosh. This is Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. I hope so too. Oh my gosh. Okay, look at that, you guys. Whoops. Oh, that is a problem. Over this? Yeah. Guys, this is the original trail that the, all the gold rushers would walk up with their animals and their packs and everything. They said if you got out of line, it could take hours if not days to get back into line. Oh my gosh, that's insane. I don't know if I've just filmed since we've been back on the ship with you guys. We are at dinner tonight and we have the most beautiful table next to the window. And look at my view out the window right now. There is a glacier. I don't know if you can see it. I can turn it around, but there is a beautiful glacier. Watch. And the best part about this is, again, we are in Alaska. So the sun, it's only dark for three hours a day. That is it. Can you see that glacier right there and the waterfall coming down right there? Anyway, it is light. So right now, for example, it is seven o'clock. 
and it is still light outside. It's going to be light till about 10.30, and then it gets, no, no, actually, probably till 11.30, then it gets dark until about 3 a.m., and then it starts to get nice again, which is really nice. Here's everybody at dinner. My brothers and sisters and my parents and my husband and they served salad while I was looking out the window. Alright Mike, rate your train trip today. Eight and a half. Because why? Well, first of all, eight and a half because I don't give tens. Nine is my top number. Oh. Yeah, and um, I only bring it off to nine once for that one half point because I fell asleep on the way back. Now, that wasn't their fault yeah. other than the fact that their train was rock it was warm and rocking. And, and we had eaten. Yeah, we did. Uh -huh. And it uh -huh. rocked me to sleep. Plus, I had seen everything. We went out and back. So I'd already seen all the good stuff. It was just on the way back. So, but anyway, so, it was really cool. I would venture to guess that the, actually the nap would be worth an extra point. Like, oh, we got to nap. <laughs> I mean, I can, I can see that. Yeah, 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 that's a good thing. Eight and a half out of nine is pretty good. That is pretty good. I'm going to give it a nine and a half. Like, I, I, I'll give it a nine and a half. I thought it was amazing. I loved all the views. I loved the train. It was just like old-fashioned train. I think the narrator was fantastic. I love that we could go outside and take pictures. I'm sure you guys already saw tons and tons and tons of video, but it was hard to not take video because it was so beautiful. So I'm 100% in love with Alaska. I love Alaska. All right, you guys, we just left the major show down in the theater, and now we're upstairs in the Sky Lounge. We're going to have like a cabaret style show right there. It's going to be the celebrity singers and dancers who we absolutely adore. If you've been watching our vlogs throughout the week, you've noticed that we have been to every show that they've done. They have been phenomenal. I'm so excited about them. And we got a chance to meet some of them on the first day and they took us up on stage. So if you haven't seen that vlog, we will um, link it at the end of this video. But in the meantime, this is going to be a show. It's like a 50s sock hop. We're very excited to see it. There's my sister, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law, Michael, Pat, Pat. All right, you guys, I'm stepping out into the balcony. I wanted to show you, I promised I would show you that how late, how light it is at night. Look at that, it's still light in the sky. It's 1137. If the clouds weren't here, it would be still light. Our day today was most amazing. We thoroughly enjoyed it. It's so much fun um, cruising with my, ouch, cruising with my parents and my brothers and sisters. And uh, I do miss the kids though. I don't mind telling you, I miss them quite a bit actually. Um, it, seven days is a long time to be away from them. I know that they, when they're in college and stuff, we're away, but it's also a long time to not be in touch with them. We purposely did not buy Wi-Fi on this cruise because we wanted a chance to just escape and not work and not none of that stuff. Because most of our stops have been in the United States, we've been able to connect connect spotily. Like so, I can like like a couple texts back and forth between Katie, Brennan, Ryan, make sure everything's okay. A couple pictures. Actually, the pictures we sent today did not go through. Um, but we, it was a conscious decision to not get Wi-Fi. Um, so it is a little bit, I miss them. You know what I mean? It's a little bit like hard to be without them and without the communication. But I know that they're doing fine and I know that they can do fine. I know it's good for Mike and I to just connect a little bit and celebrate our anniversary in a very nice way with each other and in my family. So we have been. So um, be sure to watch the video that I talked about earlier that we're linking right here. And that is the video of when we got pulled up on stage. Um, while we were on the ship after one of the shows and met the cruise director. We have something big in store for you guys tomorrow that we're very excited about that was a total shock. And stay tuned and watch tomorrow's video too. See you guys.